Good evening, YouTube. It is Tuesday, the 30th of August, and I wanted to make sure I got some of the scenery in before I get on back on the motorway. What an amazing countryside this is. So, I'm going to tell you about today, about my earnings, my real world earnings. And before I do that, I want to catch you up on the bank holiday weekend because I did a bit of work and I'm not going to um, treat the weekend like a normal work day for the following reasons. On Saturday, I spent the day out with my partner and we decided that we would go out somewhere for a meal some time together and in order to do that I found a job from near where I live to somewhere else and it was for a hundred pounds and it was going from very close to me to toaster and I put a hundred pounds bid on and it was a it was a it was an easy job to do yeah, up from somewhere about 15 minutes from where I live, goes to toaster. Um, and the point is, I'm not going to talk too much about that job because that, that's not what they just it was just a job to get us out of the house and somewhere different. When we got to, when we got to toaster, we looked for somewhere to eat and we did that and then we came home. We, was, we had a chat in the van, had a meal, and we came back. So there wasn't really any point to the working element of it just to sort of get out about but as a byproduct of that I did make contact with a local shipper that I now remember the name of and I didn't realise they were very local to me so I'm hoping that in the future I can do some more jobs for them and maybe they'll start calling me. They're reasonably small but they're just like just they're what I like they're sort of a small business local business that they're going to be hands-on and they're going to you know, want quality I think and on Sunday I did, we did the same thing so over the weekend I was going to see my family in the Midland, in the West Midlands so I got a job from Peterborough going to Bicester which isn't the West Midlands I know but it's in the general direction of where I had to go and that was a um, couple of pallets large van job and I basically did two pounds a mile because it was a week it was a Sunday so 150 pounds for 75 miles and again it wasn't because of the job it was because it was getting me from where I live to you know, the other side of the country so we did that and then we went for another meal and then we went to see my family and stayed up night on Sunday night with the family and visited lots of people over the bank holiday weekend and then on Tuesday, I booked in to have my van valeted, on the well, the cab valeted, and the outside clean, just to see whether it made much difference, whether it was worth it. It was very expensive, and I'm not sure it's necessarily worth it. But every so often, just to get the van looking a bit better, I think it's probably worth doing it, treating it like that. But I'm not going to do that often. And that meant that Tuesday was kind of a write-up. It, it was about three hours in the morning that we were being valeted. Uh, but I did pick up a little job, which was just a small job, going from Peterborough to Huntington. Uh, no, it was Boston to Huntington. Boston to Huntington. I just did the job, £80, for a large world based job, and then came home again. So I mentioned them because I, I did do some work over the bank holiday weekend. But the rationale behind it was more, not about earning money, but more about um, getting me you know, around, around the country to visit people. But as a, as a result of that weekend, I have worked out my net earnings after fuel, which comes to £240. And that is going to go specifically to our holiday in October in Scotland for spending money. So that's how I justified working in the back holiday. So to 
today, it's just Tuesday, no Wednesday, sorry, oh, it's Tuesday, isn't it? It's Wednesday, isn't it? Wednesday the 30th of August, sorry about that. Today, I have done a proper day's work, so I'll tell you that today. So I didn't have a job this morning. I did bid on a couple of jobs that would be perfect for me. And I'll tell you why they were perfect. I have got a job to do for my regular shipper, and that was pick up in Wigan and Liverpool and Manchester. And then dropping off in Wigan. So a couple of jobs came up yesterday. One was from Spalding to Wigan, and the other one was from Boston to Wigan. And I put on just less than a pound of mile each for those. Um, they would have been really useful. It would have paid me to. It would have paid me to get from near home up to Wigan, and then I would have gone from Wigan, Liverpool, Manchester to pick up my pickups. As it was, I didn't get those bids, but I did get a bid. End and that one was £125 going from Sleaford to Bolton, and the actual mileage on CX is 124 miles, and the actual booking required. A small, no, a short wheelbase van. Short wheelbase, not small. Um, so I picked that up, and that was just picked up this morning at um, nine o'clock. Um, I think I must have got it last night because I actually got myself. Yeah, I did get it last night. It was confirmed last night by um, the by text message. Um, that I got the job, so I knew I was going there today. I got myself there for half past eight on the dot, half an hour early, and I it, it took me less time to get there than I thought from where I lived. So I was there a bit early, um, and I told them I was there, and they asked me to wait while they found my stuff, and then they said they couldn't find it. So they asked me to move just out of the way, and then they would come back to me when, when, I, when I found it. And by quarter past nine, which was a quarter of an hour after I should have been there, I messaged the shipper saying that um, we were there's, there's some issues about finding what I should have. And I was going to find out from the office in the moment what's going on, and just to pre warn him that there may be some waiting time for this job from nine o'clock onwards. So after half past nine, my waiting time would start. Um, by about 25 past, I've got, um, got through to somebody, uh, I've, got, I've found, found someone who's available to talk to me about it, on site, and they explained that the order I had, they thought they were delivering tomorrow. When I heard that, my heart sank, because I've, I've wasted quite a lot of time, and this job was getting me you know, in, in, towards the northwest, which is where I wanted to go. But then he said, if you just hang on for a bit, we'll get it sorted out for you. So I waited a little bit longer and updated the shipper as to what's happening. And in the end, I was off site at 10 o'clock, so just under um, an hour waiting from my official start time. And then I was on my way to Bolton. Oh, one side note. It was from a food factory that I was collecting from, and one of the boxes was a box of onions or onion powder. And it was so smelly, I could smell it through in my cab as I was driving up. That wasn't actually a very nice journey. Anyway, I got to the other end, I found it fine. It was another kind of um, manufacturing food place, and there's a lorry parked up on this quite small site un unloading. I made my presence known to the forklift driver. He said, "I said I'd wait." And he acknowledged me. And then I waited for about 15 minutes, and then he told the ship I was waiting on the other end. I was behind a truck, and then this truck 
began to make a move out and I got myself into the gap and then another van came up to the entrance and the bullet driver emptied, um, took a pallet off him. So I'm guessing I might have accidentally um, gone to the front of a, what might have been a queue. I didn't notice a queue but I think I might have jumped ahead. Um, and then the front driver went, up, went out of the site, got another pallet from somewhere else brought it onto the site. So I, in the end I was waiting 25 minutes to unload and um, there were people, there were lorries parked in the street and actually I think they were all going into the same place so I think I might have skipped ahead of a couple of lorries even without realising it. But I'm glad I did because I got off eventually, it would have been a nightmare waiting behind all of them. There's one, the site was quite small, there's one foot driver you couldn't unload anything more than one at a time, so it was quite an efficient unloading process. So I was looking for a job then, and a great job came up. I was looking, I was, I was in Bolton, and it's the first time I've been in Bolton for a while, um, looking for jobs, and I wasn't sure how busy it'd be. And actually today there was quite a few reasonable jobs to get um, I put a couple of bids on, just get to that page. So. Um, I bid on a job going from Bolton to Preston. It was a minimum price job, fifty pounds. And then they called me, and they offered me a job going from Blackburn to Blackpool. And I was a bit confused because it was the same company, but so I, I, I went on. I, I remember I bid Bolton. I said. I put on a job to go to um, Preston. Um, is that available? And they said, How much you bid? And I said, 50 pounds. He said, Oh, that's too expensive. Um, so I looked at, had a quick look at where that bird was and, and that pool, and it was taking me a bit too far north. I, I was kind of okay with going to Preston because I felt coming from Preston down the M6 to Wigan was, was okay. But I was going to end up going to going to Blackburn first and then going to Blackpool and then coming back down to Wigan. I thought I was going to waste too much of the day. Um, so I did just decline that job. Although when I looked at um, the, on the system, it was a large, a long wheelbase job. So I might, I might have been able to get a decent job money for it, but I don't regret not going for it because um, it was taken out of my way. I also bid on a job from Bolton to Manchester. Same, minimum price job, £50. And I then got a job, not from Bolton unfortunately, but from, I'm going to, get, I'm going to say it's wrong, but so I'm going to say it both ways I think it could be spared. I got a job from Bury to, no, from Bolton, oh it was Bolton, from Bolton to Bury, or Bolton to Bury. I think it's Bury, I think I would say Bury. Anyway. Uh, so I was really close, I was a quarter of an hour from the ball pickup and Bury was 15 minutes away. So it's a total drive of eight miles, four miles to pick up and four miles for the journey. A total journey time of half an hour plus loading and unloading. So I did that job, um, £50, minimum price job, uh, and I got it. Um, when I arrived at the pickup point in Bolton, there was another car, sorry, another van from the same courier. I got a, a liveried van for the same career I was working for, so I wouldn't. I might go and be collecting his load, but there's no difference. Um, I had a quick. I'm mindful that I don't know who is on this channel, but I am also mindful that I promise to be open and honest. So what I'm going to say now is open and honest about how I see the world, and it's not necessarily complimentary, but I don't mean it to be offensive. I hope, it's, I hope I've covered it enough that it's not going to be a problem. Um, it, I, um, it's happened to me twice now where I've turned up at a place where I've been there as a subcontractor and then somebody from the, the company that I'm working for has turned up in one of their livery vans. And I just have a, a feeling that when they're employed by a company, drivers are a lot. They seem to be, at least in my brief experience, a lot more 
negative about their job and about you know, traffic and stuff and about loads and customers. And they seem to, the two I met these were moaning a bit about their job. And I think it's really about when you're employed, you take for granted your wage is going to come to you no matter what you do. You don't have to be pleasant or even professional, I suppose. As long as you don't have some sort of gross misconduct, you don't get sacked. Um, as long as you're vaguely competent, you'll just keep your job. But when you're self employed, you have to be really on top of your game in terms of professionalism, politeness, you know, being on time, doing a really good job. And I like that aspect of being self-employed. It kind of, there's an innate um, pressure to be the best you can be. But if you're employed, it's easy to just moan about how bad life is and how it's unfair. And maybe it is unfair. You get maybe maybe they're treated badly. I don't know. But it just is another indication about well, the thing to to me that being self-employed is the right thing for me to do. I would hate to be doing this job as an employed person. Um, I think it would be a different, a different kind of entity, a different kind of um, kettle of fish. Okay, let's move on. So I did that job in Bury and I was looking for other jobs and, I, and there were a few things going up around Manchester. I was ideally looking for a, a Bury or a bottle to Liverpool because uh, then I could have done Liverpool, Wigan, Manchester and I kind of wrote an arc going back. Um, and that, uh, one did come up actually, I, I, I did get one from Bolton to Liverpool. It was perfect. I was really close to it. It was a, a, it was a perfect place. It, the only problem with it was it was delivering in Liverpool tomorrow morning and I had to, I wanted to do it today. So I just had to unfortunately delete that because it just wasn't quite right. So it was so so close to being right for me. So at that point I thought I'd get on with my pickups for my regular shipper and it would have been um, at this point it was early afternoon. Um, just double check and I did finish. Uh, half past one I did my invoice for that job. So half past two sorry. Um, so I had loads of time to do my pickups um, and look for the work. So I made my way it was half an hour to Wigan from where I was in Bury. I picked up my first load there, and oh, yeah, I did um, as I do as I always do this job. I I ring ahead when I'm going to these places, and usually it doesn't make much difference. But today it made a really big difference because they were all ready for me, and it was really easy to do the pickups. So I went to Wigan. They were ready for me. I got pickups done, and then I made my way towards Liverpool. It was about th half an hour again to Liverpool, um, so made my way there. I was looking at jobs on the CX as I, as I went along, just in case something came up that I could do on the way. Um, let me see if there's anything else I've been on. I've been on a couple of things. Um, I've been on a Manchester to Walton on Thames because that was be delivering tomorrow morning. And I'm going to High Wycombe for the morning, and it was also delivering later in the morning, so it was 9 till 10 delivery time. So, really, it gave me plenty of time to pick up in Manchester tonight, go home, and then in the morning go down to London and uh, deliver that along with my other pickups. But I didn't get the job. Um, I think another lesson that I want to um, I think I'll share with you here. I was in a bit of a panic, panic on my way. I was in a bit of a rush to bid on this because it was, it was a, by the time I'd looked at where it's going at the times, but this could work out really well for me. So let me just tell you what I did. Um, it was 220 miles. I just quickly put on a bid of 120 pounds, um, which is a bit lower than I thought I should do. I just wanted to get a bid in there. And then I was thinking, well, that's too low, isn't it, really? I need to put a bit more than that. And I was then thinking, I need to explain why it's so low. So I cancelled the bid, but a bid on again at the same price, but I was writing quite a long note about, in the notes about, um, uh, I would be co-loading this, if that's okay, and delivering, but I deliver it in the time, in the premise that it was in time, time-wise. And by the time I finished my note, it had been sold. And what I was thinking was, I bet when I put the 120 on, they saw that and thought he's co-loading. I don't trust him. I'm not going to do it for them. I'm not going to give him that job. So I think you can go too low. Um, 
have no evidence to support that theory. I don't think that they sold it to someone lower than 120. I think they just, I think I had to put the, I should put the note on the first time I put a bid on, rather than a bid, that and note first of all. Um, I, I, that's, how, that's what it felt like to me, but I've got no way of knowing for sure. You know, who knows, maybe they sold it for cheaper than 120, but I, I think it's unlikely. Uh, that was a small, a small band job that was. So then I went to um, Liverpool and picked up my items from there. And then I made my way, and so traffic's getting quite busy now, towards Manchester. Again, looking at jobs, but nothing much came up. Um, I had made previously um, a bid on Chesham to Gravesend. I bid a hundred pounds. Um, it was um, it was a, la a long wheelbase job, sixty-five miles, and I bid a hundred pounds because it was picking up at seven between seven and eight o'clock in Cheshire. Now, if I'd done that, I would have had to have got down to High Wycombe tonight and tramped out outside the um, the depot because there's no way I'd get home, have a sleep in my bed and get down to Cheshire in time to unload um, my, my high wicker job before I go to Gravesend. So I put that on, but it, uh, my bid got um, discarded straight away. Um, so it, it wasn't, it, it wasn't, um, I think it's was, it was, it was like um, your bid is a, a successful. So I think in that case, she perceives it, it's way too high, just get, basically just cancel off your bid. Um, but as it was, that job got cancelled, so I didn't miss out anything. Yeah, that's the, that was the last thing I bid on today. Um, so then I went to Manchester, and I picked up the so from Manchester, and then I made my way, I'm making my way home. Um, just come over the Pennines, which is always a very nice drive. Cigarette light still. Um, I'm going to be home by about nine tonight. It's half past seven now, um, and I've got all my pickups done for my shipment for this week. So all I've got to do is tomorrow. There's no rush. Tomorrow morning, hop down to Highwicombe and offload my items. I'm going to sleep in my own bed tonight, and then I can have a day from Highwicombe trying to get a job. I must remember to avoid going to London. Um, we'll see where it goes. Right, let me give you my stats for today then. And they won't include the money for my pickups from Wigan, Manchester and Liverpool. That'll be tomorrow. But I will let you know that for that I'm getting 370. So today I did two jobs off of the CX. And by the time I've got home, I will have worked today for 13 and a quarter hours. Uh, I will have done 367 miles, 367 miles. I filled up with fuel um, yesterday. So my price this week is now 15.75 pence per mile for fuel. It's going up every week. Ago, it was three pence per mile less than that. So my fuel today is going to be fifty-seven pounds, five seven pounds eighty pence. And I've, I'm only including the two jobs I did today. Oh, actually, yes, I forgot to mention something. My first job was um, one twenty-five, but I got twenty pounds for waiting because uh, I waited for basically fifty-five minutes. Pick up in 25 minutes on the drop off, so that's 20 pounds and done it. And then I got 50 pounds for a minute price job between Boston and Bury. So 195 today, gross. And that means today I've earned after fuel 137 pounds, 137. But I will be in my own bed tonight and I will have done all the pickups for my for this week. So tomorrow I will make up the shortfall in my target um, and 
that day very easily. So it'll be interesting to see what I end up doing tomorrow, where I end, where I end up. Um, I can go anywhere tomorrow after the run drop off. Okay, so I think that's all that I wanted to say about that. Let me double check at this point um, how many different subscribers at the moment. I have got some comments to get up on, by the way. Um, so, there was over the weekend a few comments. I'm going to run through some of the previous videos and just reply to the comments that were made. Um, I did a video about my biggest mistake ever as a um, courier, which I feel was a fair reflection of, of what I did and didn't do. Yeah, it's all a learning, a learning issue. Okay, 135 subscribers today, 135. I think it's got about four since I last looked at it. Oh, I just noticed I've got 98 videos as well. It's nearly 100 videos. Um, I suppose I should really count short, should I? Uh, not really, not really. I shouldn't really go towards that total. So I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 short, so we're actually nowhere near 100 more videos. Okay, right, thank you very much for listening. What have you learnt today?